So today we are joined by the rocket man of the WordPress world, Gene Babsite. I'll call you JB only, since yeah, most people here call you. <laughs> since most people here here call you by JB only. So he's the found he's the co-founder of WP Rocket, the famous WordPress plugin. So thank you for joining in JB. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, about your story, how you guys started this? Yeah, thank, so thank you uh, first for inviting me. So we started WP Rocket 10 years ago uh, with my co-founder, Jonathan. So basically, we were uh, really focused before on WordPress and web performance. Uh, so we knew how to make uh, websites faster. Um, and there were a lot of existing plugins to make uh, websites faster, but we are not really happy about how they were working uh, because it was a bit too much complex, no customer support. Um, and, and we thought that we could do something uh, way more easier and way more better. Uh, so we developed our own solution. We put basically all our knowledge uh, of web performance uh, and we try to make something super easy because we really believe in simplicity for uh, technical products. Uh, and we launched it with a big ambition uh, just to yeah, solve our own issues uh, and maybe solve issues of other person. And that works, let's say, extremely well. Uh, and we just keep uh, that vision of making uh, a product extremely simple. Um, and that's really how our mentor is, how we can, we can keep WP Rocket and make WP Rocket even more simpler in order to make uh, websites faster. Okay, so you started back in 2014. Yes, exactly. Uh-huh. Like really from scratch. And I mean, today the, the company has grown uh, a lot and more than 4 million uh, websites are using the WP Rocket. Mm, 4 million websites. So yes. that's the active users. Uh, n- not exactly. Yeah, a bit less of users because as a user, you can have multiple websites. So we have okay, okay. less users, unfortunately. But maybe uh, probably one day, <laughs> 4 million users. Yeah. Uh-huh. So uh, tell us about your early days. Like, how did you guys actually start it? Was it in some cafe, garage? Like, what was the, paint us the picture of those early days. Yeah, so that was not in a garage, uh, but almost uh, in a way. So we were working uh, in, in our flat, my co-founder um, uh, and me. Um, and we, since the beginning, we knew that we wanted to work uh, remotely. Uh, no office because we didn't really trust into uh, having an office and seeing each other because we were able to work really well uh, remotely uh, with our own computers. And um, and so it worked really well, but uh, at a point we wanted to understand also why all companies um, specifically from US and specifically from the Silicon of Valley did work that well. Uh, so we decided to move uh, to San Francisco for a few months uh, I think it was like one year after we started WP Rocket. And so we, we moved in the U.S. during three months in order to know more about yeah, the market, how these companies are working. Uh, do they have some kind of magic to make all these great companies? Um, the answer is they don't have any kind of magic trick, but uh, there are a lot of things they are doing that we were not doing. And they have really a different vision uh, of things that we try to, uh, to implement. And then slowly, basically, we grew uh, with more customers. Uh, so we try to, so we hire more and more. Um, and we still don't have office. Uh, we have people now working from all around the world. We are almost 50 in the company, uh, 50 employees. Um, 50. But, and yeah, and without, yeah, without any office. Uh, so we see each other. So you guys never platform. had office. It's all no, remote no, since the beginning. Uh, I think we had, we had one for six months, but we ended up, you know, uh, with uh, my co-founder playing uh, at the PlayStation all the day in the office. So it was not super <laughs> uh, effective. So we, <laughs> we we decided to to start the office. Well, that's interesting because most of the people that I have listened to says that you should be working with your team, like uh, in the same office. I mean, How is we, that we working are... for you? How are you managing your team? How are you managing yeah. this? Since you are managing so, this before COVID. Yeah, so we are working with our team and probably even more better uh, without an office because we are all all the time communicating. Of course, you know, we are not isolated working on our on our own. We are all the time like communicating over Slack, for example, doing a uh, Zoom call. Um, but the thing is, we have people uh, from a bit of everywhere. So, for example, we have people from US, we have people from South America, Europe. So we are not living in the same time zone. So technically, it's impossible to all the time be in the same uh, in the same place or in the same call, more or less. Um, 
So we believe a lot in the people. So there are a lot of trust and we are more focused like on objectives and mission uh, and way less on controlling, you know, people because it doesn't make sense and usually that doesn't work. Uh, so we are really more focused on what the people should do and that's working really well. And we believe in um, freedom uh, on the task and that's working really well for us. Okay. So will it be right to say that you just find the right people who can do the remote job perfectly for you guys? Yes, that, that's exactly the point. And that's so why we, we wanted to work remotely is because we are looking to very specific uh, knowledge in a way. Um, and if we add wire these people only in our city in France, that's impossible to find these people. Uh, so we just say, okay, let's open um, our job position for anyone. Uh, wherever you live and thanks to that we'll make sure we'll be sure that we'll find the best people because if you restrict to mm. only like a few people in a city it's way more harder to to find the proper mm. the proper right. person how do you make sure that the person that you have hired is not wasting time or is actually productive and working from <laughs> their home <laughs> so the first thing we do is um trying to hire well uh, which means that uh, we try to all the time find people who are really experimented, uh, who have a good experience, including experience working remotely, which means that if they did that in the in the past uh, successfully, there is a high reason that they would they should continue to do that. Uh, the other thing is we don't track or specifically monitor things, but you know everything you do, they are I mean they are that these are related to tasks. So for example, you develop to answer to customer support to do some kind of marketing, um, which means that at the end of the day, we know uh, if something is not moving. So if someone is not working, but this never really happened, probably there are one or two exceptions, but it's really, really rarely happened. And it was mostly a mistake on hiring because we haven't been able to to, to, to see the wrong fit. But uh, yeah, we never had this kind of issue. And I believe people are more productive working remotely because they really work uh, most of the time when they have enough nice things to do uh, instead of being in an office all the time going to, to a coffee uh, to do some posts to chat with other people uh, you lose a lot of time nice nice so what was the biggest turning point for you guys turning point in your business like you are in since 2014 so what was the turning point that made some exponential growth in your business um, during COVID or maybe after that, like when everyone started? No, it was before COVID. I, I think so. We, we made the mistake at the beginning. Um, so we to, to give you a bit more context, we started WP Rocket. It worked super well. Uh, then we started Imagify, which is an image optimization service. We started, it goes super well. And so we wrongly think that uh, it's easy to make successful products. And in order to grow, we just have to make more products and to do whatever kind of products. So we lose, in a way, ourselves into we, we explore two more products, which was one on WordPress themes and another on uh, security plugin for WordPress. Uh, but we really lose our focus. So our turning point was like, Let's stop all these things and let's focus on what we really love and why we created this company in the first place was to do something related to web performance. And that's what we still do today is like we only do web performance. Uh, and that's what, what we really love uh, to do, what we are focused on. And since to that point of this decision of saying, okay, we really want to focus on, um, on web performance, this has been uh, very successful for us because yeah, focus is extremely important as individual, but also as a company. So you just cut off the all the noises that you were having in those <laughs> <Yeah>. days. <laughs> That's a good what, way to what summarize Steve that. Job, what Steve <laughs> Jobs did when he came back to Apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to compare to what he did, he did but yeah, that's that's uh, yeah, just the focus on on important yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, the tunnel vision focus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nice. So tell us about AI. Like AI is becoming increasingly significant these days. Like past few days, Apple is also coming up with their Apple intelligence. Everyone is into AI right now. So how WP Rocket is leveraging AI now? Yeah. Um, 
So we are don't leveraging AI in the product itself, which I don't really believe in. Uh, maybe in the future, in order to help com- help our user configuring. However, we are leveraging AI in all the production of the company. So, for example, I'm using it a lot. I mean, on on, on writing things, on clarify things, on understanding things. Uh, we are doing a lot uh, for our developers. Um, so. When I develop, sometimes uh, I use a lot of AI. Uh, I believe most of our developers now are also using AI in order to um, generate, improve their code. Um, so basically, it's more on we use AI to build uh, better uh, and to be more productive, basically, um, on, on what we do. On the product itself, we don't do that yet. I don't Honestly, I don't believe we would do that before several years because... The way I see it, it's not super efficient uh, on what we can provide for the end users because what we do is web mm. performance. So, um, except like so helping the people figure eating, that wouldn't make sense. Okay, so you are using AI internally. Yes. And can you give us some references of how exactly you are using AI, like in emails, in writing, or designing images? How exactly are you using? So, mm. personally, for for example, for code for for um, my, as you see, I'm not a native English speaker, so most of the time my English is far from being perfect. But we have na- a lot. Everyone in the company is working is uh, speaking English, um, and we write a lot of things. Uh, so usually, I write my my draft uh, in ChatGPT. I mean, and I ask uh, ChatGPT to rewrite uh, my French English speaking. Uh, let's say um, the same when you know when you want to. Sometimes, and I know the marketing do that when you want to write a blog post about something, usually we just put the ideas and we want to yeah, clarify and, and making different things. Um, on customer support, we start to implement uh, way more uh, AI in order to help our agent to uh, answer the ticket. So that's a big project we have uh, to collect mm-hmm. um, content from our documentation, from our code, etc. So as soon as we receive the uh, a customer tickets, we can directly and automatically answer an appropriate answer and then allow the customer to ask for human um, human contact if he needs. Uh, so we are moving slowly, I would say, into AI mm-hmm. because it's fundamentally it doesn't change the way we work. It's just like mm-hmm. being better, being more productive on what, what we do, but the specific uh, kind of work we do, I believe, doesn't necessarily uh, require to impl- implement AI into our products. Hmm. Got it. Any particular AI apps that you love, except ChatGPT? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And st- I mean, it's the way I see it. It's still. I mean, AI is stupid in a way. I mean, they just. I mean, <laughs> we we think AI is clever because uh, they can speak, and we we put a lot of value in words and we think that if someone can speak it's super clever but at the end that's not really true that's just it can produce words that is replicating from source uh, but mm. on specific like if you if you require a specific help on performance for example which, which is uh, and performance is always evolving um, and the data of AI has been trained from data from like probably one year or two years ago, and, and which is not accurate anymore for performance. So if, mm. if we need help for performance related, that's not accurate anymore. Mm. Okay. Uh, coming back to WP Rocket, <laughs> why is there no free version of WP Rocket or there's <laughs> even no trial, I think, of WP Rocket? I, love, I absolutely love WP Rocket. I'm using it on my, on my own blogs. Uh, yeah. WP Rocket, Nitro Pack. I love both both of the plugins, but I don't think so that there's a free trial or a free version of WP Rocket. Why is no we <laughs> we don't. <laughs> um, so the two two questions for that. The the first thing is uh, we when we started WP Rocket, we thought about having a free and premium version, um, but we strongly believe for a performance plugin that doesn't work enough because. You need to divide properly divide what you offer in free and what you can offer in premium. And we haven't found a good way to properly divide things because you need to provide value, enough value in the free for people to move and enough more value into the pro, but the, the, the value should be still very high. And for us it's it's yeah, it's not a good deal. 
Um, and we don't offer free trail because we offer refunds. So, I mean, it's more technically different, but still, you can, you can try. And honestly, it's, it's a way, it's for us a way to, to make things easier, uh, because we don't have to manage and all the payment after 30 days and, uh, and doing support in a way for free. Uh, so we prefer like, okay, you, you want to try WP Rocket? Hey, you can try for 30 days. If you are not happy, no question asked. We just get a refund. You don't need to justify things. Just uh, and we have automated the refund process. So basically, you just mm -hmm. click on the on the order you refund, and you get paid back. Mm, nice. And, and and see, you you are using WP Rocket. You didn't need uh, <laughs> the free trail to use it. <laughs> yeah, I don't need, but I, I'm a content creator. I talk about yeah. WordPress plugins theme. So there are many viewers of mine who are who are looking for that. Like, I need a free yeah. trial. I need to test this out if it's working or not. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this is something that you might consider in future. Yeah, you know, when you are fully a SaaS business, it's way more easier. For example, that's what we do with Imagify. Uh, we have a free version, mm -hmm. uh, and then you can, mm -hmm. uh, which you can try and then you can pay because everything is on our own server. It's easy to manage. With WP Rocket, it's way more uh, complex. Hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> What's the future of WP Rocket? Where is it heading? What's your vision? Um, so at, at the introduction of that call, I was talking about simplicity, which which is extremely important for us. And uh, the future for us, of w I mean, the, the dream product of what WP Rocket should be is like you enable the plugin and that's all. You don't have anything hmm. to configure to exclude Excel because we have been enough good, maybe pretty AI, I don't know, to um, autom to do all the exclusion you need and to make sure that we can, we have enabled everything, all the options uh, for your website to be uh, the fastest mm -hmm. possible. It's almost impossible, I believe, to achieve because at a point you will need to exclude pages. Right. But at the same time, we can, making sure that the features we are providing doesn't have any bug. And when we have that, we'd be able to, we move that feature as an option and remove the number of options, but still doing it, mm -hmm. but just making sure as soon as you enable WP Rocket, that's working. And you don't need to mm -hmm. spend hours enabling, testing, disabling, testing, extra, because that's not your job. Your job is to have a mm -hmm. website to run a business, not to configure WP Rocket. Okay, okay. How do how are you guys dominating WordPress industry? Like WP Rocket is one of the top plugins almost for like whenever there's a cache or if you want to speed up your website, WP Rocket is among the top two or three recommended plugins. How are you guys yeah. dominating actually in the marketing? What are, what are you guys doing special that <laughs> none of the other players are doing right now? Um, so the, the first thing I believe is linked to the market itself, uh, which is uh, performance, um, which means that we probably are able to address 95% of the WordPress market, which is, for example, you have a, uh, I don't know, a multilingual plugin. Not everyone need it. While a performance plugin, right now, everyone need it. Um, so first, that's help. Or like a SEO plugin, you need, you need to have one. Um, so that makes things easier. The other things we have is... Um, we have been since we have been there since many times now. I mean, ten years old. We are a bit uh, old now in this industry, mm -hmm. um, and uh, we believe that our vision of simplicity, customer support is a good one, and it's the, what people really like about WP Rocket. It's it's simple, relatively simple to use. You don't have like tons of things to configure. If you have an issue, you have a good uh, customer support. And it's working. I mean, you enable WP Rocket, you have great results. So at the end, that's technically easy, mm -hmm. uh, the, the results. Mm -hmm. And that's, that I believe, why, peop why people like us. And we try to, I mean, to do nice things, to have a good communication mm -hmm. as well. And uh, we have been extremely lucky to have a great team to, to work with. Mm. Got it. What's, what would be the net worth of WP Rocket or WP Media right now? Any idea about that or if you want to reveal about that? <laughs> you mean next features, right? No, the company's net worth. Like how much the, is the company growing at every year? Ah, sorry. Um, we are, we have like, uh, I mean, there, <laughs> we can't communicate everything now, but uh, we are, very profitable. We have been growing uh, a lot mm -hmm. every year. 
um, and we can say that it's it's a, a, a double digit in terms of percentage uh, growth uh, every year since the beginning. Uh, and mm. some years we have like growth of double, like 100% growth. Mm. <laughs> nice. So how are you managing your work-life balance? Um, so that's something we address uh, in the company itself, not personally. So that's something really across the company. Um, you know, when I, uh, each time I, I hire a, a person, I say the same thing is, uh, we are not able to make you happy in your personal life. However, most of the time you are going to spend in your life is at work. Uh, so we have a responsibility to make your work nice uh, because we, we are able to make you sad in your work. And we believe that if your work is not nice, if you don't have good, good work conditions, this will affect your personal life and you, you, will, you will be unhappy about that. So my mission and our mission as a company when related to employees is making sure they are happy in their job. And in for that, there is work-life balance. I mean, we believe that, of course, working, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 um, uh, hours per week works. I mean, this definitely generates results, um, and we did sometimes. But uh, in the long term, which is what we're targeting, this never works. Uh, especially mm -hmm. for uh, employees, uh, so we it just uh, yeah putting uh, objective uh, and putting value into the company, saying yes, work is important, but you have a life on the side. Making sure that you work, you uh, put a lot of energy in your work, but making sure to spend time outside of your work um, to go out, and that's also the, what I like with remote is like you can. You, know, you can like do a pause of one hour if you want to have a walk, if you want to, I don't know, go to the gym during the afternoon. That's something we always recommend is, yeah, make pause during the day. If you want to do your grocery on Monday because there are no one, go mm. for it. And you will, you will work a little bit later. And that usually people are really happy about that. Mm. So basically you provide them the ability to work at any, any time. Like you give them yes. that freedom. Yes, exactly. So we, it's always hard, you know, to say, yeah, you, we don't count hours. You can, you can work, um, as much, not as much, but you, 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 we, we don't check hours, but still, I mean, we expect in a way, you know, people working eight hours per day is more or less, but if they're going to, to do se seven hours one day, we're not going to, to say, Hey, you, you, you didn't work enough, uh, today. So you need to, to compensate. It's just a matter of trust. Uh, it's like, a contract of trust saying, yeah, we believe you that you are going to, uh, to do your work. Everyone is, uh, is different in a way. Uh, we just trust you. Of course, it doesn't work with everyone, but with most of the people who have been, it has been working really well. Mm. What inspires you? Uh, I mean, so, so many things. Um, if we're technically speaking, I mean, if we're if we're speaking about uh, companies or entrepreneurs, let's say, um, I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, Steve Jobs and Apple in general. Um, in, in the way they, the company has been built and the really strongly focused on product, uh, because uh, we believe at WP Rocket we are a product company and we love products and we always try to think about our users using our products. So. That, that, that has been always a big inspiration for our products. Of course, we do things very differently. And I mean, we can't uh, compare at all to, to, to Apple, but that's, that's really a great uh, inspiration on how to do uh, products. A bit less on how to manage people. We have different vision, mm -hmm. let's say. Uh, but uh, yeah, for, for products, this has been uh, a big inspiration. Um, and for example, that, that's often the, the example I give is when we, we try to uh, to uh, to remove features on WP Rocket. It's basically what Apple is doing in a way or was doing in a way is uh, not allowing you to configure everything on your phone or on your computer because they control, but you need you don't need like in. I mean, if you want to change all the colors of everything, yeah, go to Windows. You will be able to configure everything to have like yellow, uh, a keyboard which is yellow or whatever. Um, but at the end, that doesn't serve the users. And that, yeah, that, 
that's, that's not good. So we, we, we try to really control what, ca- what people can do because they don't need uh, to control these things. So we try to do them for, for it. Hmm. Okay. Any advice for aspiring entrepreneurs who want to enter in this WordPress plugin market? Uh, I would say the the best thing they can do is to do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> because so I have an example of of, of um, I think that that's really inspiring for for me at least. Uh, for um, so there is there is a company which is called WP Umbrella. Um, where we, with Jonathan, my co-founder, we are investor into that company and we are advising them. Um, and uh, Thomas, the co-founder, uh, I think he he tried to launch maybe four or five projects around WordPress, um, so business around WordPress. And all the time it fails. And he started again. And he started again. And this time with WP Umbrella, it's finally working. And so for me, that's really the the a great inspiration of yeah sometimes it's not working but i mean if you if you never try that will never work so if that doesn't work try again try again and probably you will fi- find your path and now i'm happy that he, he finds his path and he now um is uh, is having a very successful company hmm. nice nice if you have to start a wordpress plugin company right now in 2024 <laughs> you don't have much resources you don't have like the knowledge <laughs> that you currently, that knowledge in uh, the performance market, knowledge in the cashier market, let's suppose you are not into that. So what will you start today? Wow. It's super hard because uh, when we started in 10 years, WordPress was really different. Like there were not, not that much um, plugin. I mean, there are a lot of plugins, but way less business. Now there are way more businesses. Uh, and there is a plugin for everything, and there is a company <laughs> for everything. Uh, so honestly, if I have to st- to start today, I-, I wouldn't know what I could do because there are way too much. Maybe that it's the answer. Maybe uh, AI because um, there is still not that much people yet. Often <laughs> you will see tons of plugins around that very quickly. The issue is uh, the cost would be pretty high because you have to you have to use a costly API. Uh, obviously, um, and uh, the I mean, if you do something which is too too easy to do, you know, mm. you, you would be replaced by another developers who will do the same. So you you need to do oh. something a bit more complex. You will look you will look outside of WordPress market. Yes, like, are there uh, any opportunities outside yeah, of WordPress? Pro- yeah, there are a lot. The, the the beautiful things of WordPress is how big the market is, and so you have like tons of people to address and if you're able to find a specific issues you have probably or that people have and that you can bring a technical or a solution for it that would be super helpful the thing is now there are tons of <laughs> good solution for everything <laughs> in wordpress so more and more that's harder and harder but still the, the good thing also is the market is super big which means that you can simply do uh, something which is already existing but in a different way or better way so i'm pretty sure that if you launch a contact form you can be really successful because the market is that big that you can find a place as a contact form or as even even a, a performance plugin i mean we have plenty of competitors and new competitors every day uh, every uh, six months let's say and that's <laughs> I've never been really an issue we are happy because we are learning together from them and the market is that big that doesn't really matter so yeah you can launch a performance plugin as well <laughs> nice tell us about your experience at WordCamp Europe why are you here firstly um, we are here for a few reasons the main one is because we are sponsored um, and uh, <laughs> we have been sponsored of local WordCamp since uh, yeah almost the beginning of the company and uh, Europe uh, and US WordCamp more recently um, so it's it's very convenient way to meet uh, people when you are sponsored because they directly come to you uh, as a brand and we can talk about the products or all the things. Um, and plus, I mean, WordPress is living thanks to its community. Uh, so as a company living thanks to WordPress, it's our so responsibility to give back uh, to sponsor all this kind of events. Otherwise, they wouldn't exist. So we also a, a big part of why we are here just 
as yeah, purely sponsoring and purely providing to the community the resource to run these uh, events. And that's really what matters. Uh, and then, I mean, there are, of course, some business reasons, but they come after, obviously. Hmm. And is there any specific advantage you see of people coming to WordCamps? Like, is there networking? What are they gaining, the people who are coming attending WordCamps? The first thing is they can see me, which is uh, the biggest uh, <laughs> part. Um, no, no, more seriously, they can, they can, uh, that, that the, the thing is they can meet the person or the, the company they are using, uh, every day. So for, for example, you're using WP Rocket, you have a chance, uh, to meet, uh, directly person from, from WP Rocket and asking them advice about your website or asking them information. There are tons of hosting who are looking for new hosting. You can talk uh, with them so mm -hmm. you can, you can meet a lot of people, learn a new thing. Google is here, so if you have some question uh, related to like mm. performance from Google, you can ask them. So you have you have access to yeah tons of person. So that's a great way to to meet uh, people. And great. there are a lot of good conference as well where you can you can <laughs> you can learn tons of things. Nice, nice. Okay, so now let's end this with a rapid fire round. I'll ask you quick questions, and you can give me like answer in two three words that come in okay. your mind. Okay. Ready? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's <Okay>. right. <laughs> <laughs> First one, WordPress or Shopify? Oh, uh, WordPress. WordPress or Joomla? <laughs> WordPress. <laughs> Favorite I, I plugin? came from Joomla, so really WordPress. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. So, favorite plugin other than WP Rocket? Imagify. Imagify. <laughs> favorite plugin other than, than WP Media Company? <laughs> <laughs> um, I say it was a while. I don't know if it's still relevant, but ACF Advanced Custom Fields that we used a lot. Things have changed, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not involved uh, anymore into that development. But we use that plugin. Yeah, it was awesome. Okay. Nice. If you could have dinner with any three people, who would they be? If I can meet three people, yeah, whatever they are. Whoever, whatever they are. <laughs> Steve Jobs. And, and that's really something when I was young. So there was like the keynote. Uh, I don't know if you, if you know. The, so the, he was presenting events. And and um, I, I think four years before he died, uh, I would say I really need to go to a keynote one day uh, to uh, to see the presentation. But certainly uh, <laughs> that, that will never happen. Mm. Uh, so I don't know. You, <laughs> let's say, uh, let, let's be positive. So I would be super happy to, to meet you. Hopefully in the next WordCamp. <laughs> yeah. Please. Have you ever been to WordCamps? Yeah, I have been to WordCamp Asia. Okay. Ah, yeah, I wasn't there. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully next year I'll be in Europe as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. The next one is, what's the last book you read? Uh, I don't read books that much anymore. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I know it was like a radical candor, a uh, really great book about how you can provide uh, feedback in a constructive way. Let's say. <laughs> Last movie or TV series? Uh, it's uh, Formula One: Drive to Survive. I don't really watch lots of TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay, describe the WP Rocket company culture in three words. Um, transparency, trust, uh, and uh, city diversity. Sorry, diversity. Okay. Biggest misconception people have while making their websites. Mm, do you think that they they should always add more plugins uh, to solve <laughs> their issues? Okay. Uh, your guilty pleasure. Uh, sports, but it's not guilt. It's not a guilt. So, <laughs> yeah. but that's my pleasure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you weren't in tech, not technology and coding. Well, um, I mean, I studied law, so probably uh, I would have done law. Uh, but law. that's boring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, last question, Android or iPhone? Uh, iPhone, for sure. You already knew the answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, JB, for your time. 
it was really nice having this insightful conversation with you yeah thanks a lot for your time it was really nice thank you so much jb and hopefully we'll see you in the next one we will yeah. have a real podcast in person that would be way better <laughs> oh, okay 